Morning, everybody. It's Anthony and Tucker with Land Title. We wanted to bring you your Boulder County lender market update for the new year. And yep. It is so exciting. <laughs> so big surprise. Last year was tough. We all know that. But really, this is where we're looking at the year. Last year was close to 2011. It was a low water mark. We're picking up speed from there. And you'll see it in the slides. Things are getting better. We can see the biggest inventory issue going into this year, though, that we're concerned about yeah. is inventory. We are really nervous about inventory, especially as you know, you know, buyers can get pre-qualified and rock and roll a lot sooner than the houses come on the market. So we're expecting a little bit of a comp more competitive market this spring, which means dust off all those tools. Remember all those tricks from, uh, you know, what was that? 21, 22. So don't forget about those tools. Don't forget about those tricks because we're going to need them this spring and this summer. Okay, so take a look at this. Let's, I'm just going to move to the next slides because we're going to talk inventory specific first. We have nearly a 40% drop in inventory. It's the largest drop in inventory we've seen in a December in a long time. Now, we did have a little bit elevated under contract numbers, but nowhere near this. So this means like 30 to 35% of all the inventory in the market actually just took themselves off the market. Yeah. So this is a tough one, and that's going to lead us in a very different place than we were before. You can see it here on the month supply. We went from like 3.2 to 1.9 months of inventory. It's going to be tough out there. Yes. And we're going to be initially in January a little bit lower, and then hopefully we'll start ticking up throughout the spring as we have more inventory coming on the market. The issue is, is we are nervous about the stuff that will be coming to market and enough will come right now versus how fast buyers are going to be picking up as rates continue to improve. And the good news about us not going into the recession, the world's not ending, people are buying houses again. Right. We've seen a great start to the year. Yep. We've been hearing a lot of positivity in the market. I hopefully you've been hearing the same out there. But what does this mean? Buyers are going to get started before sellers. There's a lag time between sellers catching up to the buyer's market. So it's just some to keep out there. Now, as we look at our days on MLS right now, we're at that 62 days across the entire county for detached and attached. That's pretty high. January, you might even see it go up a little bit more, and then we're going to start seeing that slide pretty quick. I think you're going to see it slide real fast. With all yeah. that inventory coming off the market that was sitting, I mean, this could easily be back to where we are, were, maybe not in 2022, but I mean, if we're in the 20s, like that's a fast-paced market. Yeah. It's going to feel quick again, and those best homes, those median numbers might be in the teens. And so, so as a shopping season really starts kicking off, you might be having to write more pre-approval letters. Keep those things updated. Make sure people know what they can buy as rates continue to change. So it's a great way to stay in touch with your clients going forward because we're going to have a faster and faster market, especially with that really nice inventory. We're going to have fast market. So yeah, I think, the, I think the big thing too is remind, remind your realtors when they're out there, like start communicating because it's not going to be like that in every deal. It's just going to be like that on some of the deals and it's going to be really contentious. There might be stuff that's been sitting on the market that they can still get a really good deal on for the next couple of months. So it's really this transitioning time period where we've really got to work kind of both angles, lots of communication to really help them out. Yeah. You know, if you look at it by price range, you know, this, this is, is one of our favorite slides to look at. And what do we know? Hey, the stuff that's more affordable has more competition. Sure, you're shopping does. in the million to million and a half, way less competition. You can be picky. You can, you know, write in more contingencies. You can help, you know, kind of take a second look. If you're looking in that 500, 600, even 700,000 range, depending on the neighborhood yeah. or the, the city, that's going to be competitive. That is fast. And we can really see that here on what's active and what's being sold and where the bread and butter is. And then what we can do is this look. Yeah, so if you look here yeah, at that's about a, this that's section, pointing at a computer, yeah, that doesn't move your, work. Move your head out of the way there, yeah, Mister. There, there you <laughs> All right, so here's here's the thing I think that's most important. Where we saw the biggest constraint in the market last year was between that one and three million range, right? Mm -hmm. We're talking twenty plus percent drops in you know the number of sold units, and it's largely due to the cost of money, right? Because at three plus million, people come in, lots of people pay cash. It's a very different market, very different buyer. We've really lost those trade up buyers. Yeah. So now that we're getting back into these lower interest rates, I mean, it might be Q four even before we really see them, but there's some potential for that market to really pick up again. And as everything we know, under a million. And as really we know, people that. don't really know the rates. They know the sentiment. They know what's going True. on with the news. Yep. That's what they hear. And that's what unfortunately impacts them. We're just getting finally some good luck of the news being more positive and saying good things about yep. the economy and rates. And that's going to shift. And that's going right? to shift the, shift the sentiment. And where we can see, you know, the only area in that, you know, really under uh, under a million is that, you know, five to 600,000. That's not with the decrease in 13% in sold. That isn't because there's a decrease in sold. There just isn't as many homes in that area. There Especially wasn't as now. many as yeah. available to be purchased there. And that's the issue of the inventory. 
as well. Yeah, so take a look at this month supply and days on market by price range. That under 2 million range is going to be hot, competitive. So much of the luxury inventory came off the market. So expect some of that to come back, right? Don't expect mm -hmm. this to stay at 10 months of inventory and luxury. I expect this to rise again pretty yeah. well. But the trade up potentials are going to be there this year. And I think those are the buyers we really missed last year, right? We had necessity buyers, we had necessity sellers, right? Yeah. So now that we're going to be in a market that is going to start to warm up a little bit to everybody, you know, the NBA the other day had a 14% increase in their estimate for total sales volume for yeah. the entire US. Which is huge. That means we're going to receive more of that because we always do when it starts to warm up. Things will pick up faster here with our lovely affluent society, right? That's really helpful. <laughs> well, and now that we've already kind of chased prices down, you know, if anyone has, uh, actually, we'll get to that slide in a moment, but really, We've, we've, we've already bought them. We've already hit the bottom. We're already on the rebound up on prices and median prices and average prices in the county. Yep. So that means the longer people wait right now is that cost of waiting metric you really want to talk about. The cost of waiting is going to continue to get more expensive because of the more demand versus less supply than we're going to be going into this year with. Exactly. So let's talk about the elephant in the room and let's talk about sales price, right? So we had, no, this is, oh, this, this is total is sales. This I'm is sorry. Yeah. Next one, sales price. Yes. This Either way, is. these are the these are the elephant in the rooms, right? So, this is so when you look at year to date numbers, I think it's important to remember we were down 12% from 22. 20, the end of 22 really tapered off. We finally saw some reprieve in those interest rates in December, right? Mm -hmm. So we saw a little bump in December. That's a really good sign going into the new year. But what this means is, we were down 12%. Let's pick up, call it 14% from this last year. 24 really should be a little bit yeah. better than where 22 was, but it's going to be backloaded, not front-loaded like we saw in 22. So a lot of the estimates were saying that Q4 might be as busy as Q2. And that's and that's really because of rates. And yep. remember, that's not going to be Thanksgiving on. That's going to be... I mean, we're so talking like be under October, contracts November. in September. Yeah, they September, close in October. October. October contracts that close in November. Right. So, so really on. get your marketing focus for this whole year. So don't just think about the next three months. This is a long. This is a marathon year. Yeah, this absolutely. is going to be a marathon year. Transitioning market year. That's transitioning the best market. time for this. You know, we we led into the recession. We were the first ones hit as an industry. We're going to be the first ones being pulled out with the rates. You say recession, but we actually well, not never recession, recession, not recession, right? but. It feels our, like a our, recession for us. Our, econ our, our industry had one. <laughs> yeah, Let's be honest, did. our industry had, had a real bad one. We, we had a great recession um, just from where we were. So our industry... Yeah. Real estate, not the whole economy. Um, but let's go over to these average sold okay, prices. Okay, so average sold this prices, is this is a big one because obviously Boulder County bounces around quite a bit. You get 13 three plus million dollar sales in November, it skews those numbers up. You and then get we have one, one in December. In December, it skews those numbers down. But the big thing that we liked is this trailing 12 month percentage change number. If you look at yeah. that trailing 12 month percentage change number, that is like an average of the this year versus last year, right? And so it's really taken the 12 month <laughs> average of all of 2022 all versus time. all of 2023 as right. averages. Every so single the year sale. versus the year yeah. of all the sales. And this way it's just a nice, it shows all the composition, none of the seasonality. And it just shows where we're at as a watermark. Right. Yes, we've dropped in a lot of the areas, one or two, maybe 3%. Well, in the Lafayette, worst area, it's a, it's six Lafayette. and a half. But and look at Longmont. Long months three percent up. up, right? Yeah. So we have been very resilient. I think that's the kind of the word I like to use for twenty three. Is you know we we're you stable. Say I'm liking stable because yeah. this just shows how stable we are. After all that we just went through in the last year, we are, we went down six and a half percent in the worst situation, yeah. and we're already rebounding and building that back up. And as rates continue to get better, we'll see more of it. And really, right. a lot of that was skewed in twenty twenty two by hey, what was that? February, March, April where there's just ridiculous offers going on. There's just a lot of stuff. You you all remember those insane appraisal gaps and all that stuff. Yep. That's what skewed this. Totally. The rest of 22 is actually very balanced and was going sliding down as rates went up. We're on the back. We're already on the up foot again, on the up foot again. This is where we're going into this year, right? Yep. Prices are going to be going up again. Hopefully not as fast as they were though. Yeah, I think we're going to be slightly Hopefully increasing as slow interest rate changes happen, yes. right? One to three percent this year would be great. Soft landing, right? That's what they've been saying. And we technically could get there if they actually don't, you know, do something drastic. It is looking like it. Okay. Yeah. All right. So the last slide we wanted to talk to you about is the percentage list to sale price. And this is the one where like what kind of a deal is your is your buyer getting? That ninety seven percent list to sale price can be a little deceiving, right? Yes. Now it is one of the lower Decembers we've had in a long time. We all kind of expected that. It was a tough year, a little bit better than the previous year, but not by much. It was a buyer's market yeah. for the first time in, what, four years? It was a 
Seriously. Like a real buyer's market, like right? Like a real buyer's I mean, market. We had 40 to 50% concessions on deals coming into land title. So that's why I say a little deceiving because this doesn't take into account for price drops or those price concessions. And both of those things were happening yeah. on a lot of deals. Yeah. So this truly is the low watermark for our you know, our real estate market. And we're very optimistic about what's going on in 24. And we're already feeling it in the first, you know, the first week two of, weeks, the first two weeks have been yeah. drastically better than they were last year. And I'm sure if you talk to anyone yeah. out there, talk to your listing agents, you, I'm sure you're seeing buyers getting back into the market right now. If you want to hit your sphere, let's get them re-engaged because this is the year that they're gonna, hopefully going to buy a house. They're going to make that decision or they're going to trade up because they're going to have the opportunity to do so. Absolutely. Well, Thank you for joining us today. I'm Anthony at Land Title. I'm Tucker Brock with Land Title. We really appreciate you guys. We can't wait to work with you in 2024. And let's have a great year. Let's have a wonderful year, everybody. Take care. Bye.